And another story that we are closely following, of course, is the rain and snow out west. Look at the snow in Olympic Valley, California. We're now looking at a new atmospheric river this weekend, and yes, it is set to bring once again mountain snow and heavy rain. Here's what's happening right now. So through the day today, we do have a bit of energy on the coastline. It does bring in some light rain, even a bit of mountain snow. Those snow levels have come back down to about 3,000 feet today. So we are seeing snow at the pass level. Here's Spokane, and you talk about those snow levels coming down. You can see through tonight how even in eastern Washington, these temperatures are cold enough to to support the snow. And so while we have this cold pool that settles in at the start of this weekend, it does bring in the potential for bringing snow in the forecast back to the Cascades. This is where we're expecting at least a foot to up to two feet through Sunday. Stevens Pass, Snoqualmie Pass, this again at the higher elevations of the Northern Cascades. You get down to Santiam Pass into the Oregon Cascades and again about 12 to 18 is a pretty safe bet, say above seven, 8,000 feet. We are expecting uh, this next Next storm system to be the reason why this all comes in. Here's the spin of it now sitting out of the Gulf of Alaska. This is what's going to continue to push its way through as we go through Sunday. We see that rain once again on the coast. That's going to bring the potential for some flood concerns through Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening. We see a bit of that atmospheric river potential going into Monday morning, but overall it is certainly going to be a cold one that we will see that snow begin to fall in the mountains. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.